Morning guys, got a special uh, Monday episode for you. It's about 6 a.m. It's 28 degrees out right now and uh, there's precipitation on the way which is probably going to be snow. It was uh, a little bit of wet snow here just a while ago but we'll see how that goes. Got a project today I want to work on. A little bit longer episode. And I'll show you what I have in mind. Alright guys, got a uh, table of parts here that we're going to be using today. Have a rib nut puller, a bunch of quarter 20 aluminum rib nuts, some grade 8 hardware. Uh, from last episode, these window crank handles. Here's the part number in case you're looking for it. It's a Dorman 775 5501. This is what they look like. They are super heavy duty. I'm surprised at how uh, well they're built. Um, the handle is actually riveted on there, so it's not that stupid plastic thing with the tongs on it that pops out every time you try to roll the window up and down. I got four of these. What I'm hoping is that I can use two for door handles and uh, two for the window cranks. Also, shout out to... Uh, Seth Jacobson on the uh, Adventure Driven channel. I'll try to get a link here. I'm kind of new to getting links in the video thing, so hopefully I can get a link here in the upper right hand corner. And uh, that'll link to his page, hopefully. No promises, but see how that goes. Anyways, he recommended this for doing the uh, changing the color of the door panels. Uh, this has really good reviews on Amazon. So I bought a can of it, and hopefully it works out. I'm tired of all the rattly plastic rivets in the uh, doors. So I'm basically going to take everything apart, do a little bit of painting, and then uh, reinstall everything. So this should be a pretty fun project. Pretty easy, pretty simple. All these plastic rivets will go bye-bye and it'll get replaced with that nice hardware. Uh, aside from that, let's get started.
said this was a thousand times better, I'd be lying. But this, look at that. Man, that cleaned up the door so much. Unbelievable. And when you close the door, it has a nice thud now instead of a rattle. Look at that, listen to that. Oh man, that sounds good. It used to just rattle like crazy before. These handles work on both the uh, um, door handle toggle and window crank. I greased up the rails inside the uh, windows. Windows go up and down nice. These are heavy duty. I can't stress that enough. If you could get a hold of these, other than the OEM garbage that twists when you roll the window up and down, the frame on these is really strong. It's all metal and this kebobber thing here is uh, riveted into it so I mean it ain't going anywhere just overall just a huge improvement and that SEM stuff that Seth Jacobson recommended awesome turned out really nice check out the driver's side here I did, uh, of course, Subaru parts. I repurposed some hardware, some screws off uh, Subaru interior. And then these are, I don't know what they're from, but um, I drilled out the handles a little bit to get them to go through. It's a nice solid pin and it's the perfect length. So that worked out good. I had to, I, I re-tapped all of the threads on, the, on both of the, window toggle and the door handle on both doors so that worked out really good but yeah look at that so much better nice solid thud again nice like that anyhow that was my project for today if you guys like this video if you found it helpful give me a thumbs up and subscribe and as always I'll catch you guys next time See you later. Bye-bye. You want to go in the house or a Bajora? You want to go outside? What a good kitty. What are you doing? You waiting for the snow? <laughs>